New York's classic rock, Q1043. It is our pleasure to welcome this morning Billy F. Gibbons, the best dressed man in all of showbiz. In the universe, <laughs> I think. Yes, <laughs> yes. We often speak about uh, our experiences uh, with the distinguished Mr. Gibbons, and every time we have ever seen him, uh, he is just as impressive as a well-dressed, sharp-dressed man can be. And we mean that sincerely. And even uh, even today at this hour of the morning on uh, Zoom, he's looking particularly sharp. How do you do that every day? <laughs> uh, uh, quite a send up. I, I was uh, preparing, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, do I see a tie hiding behind the beard? What do I see hiding behind? You oh, got yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Red. Yes. I heart radio red. Yes, oh, yeah, it is. Def definitely. So 101 ways to wear a bandana, 102 ways to use one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a new album for us to celebrate hardware, which will be released on June 4th. It can be pre-ordered right now. Uh, a few minutes ago, I watched uh, the video for my lucky card. And uh, you're a, you're a high roller. Those when you were in the card game, those were a hundred dollar bills there on the table. Definitely so. Kind of overlooked the importance of the uh, fiat currency laying in front of us because uh, it had come to my attention I had forgotten to bring my glass slide bottle, and somebody slid an empty beer bottle down the way. So <laughs> I said, "Okay, now we can play." Well, wow. that was another that was another interesting part of that video when it when it appeared and you can tell me if it was real or not. But when it appeared, you were playing the guitar with a beer bottle. That is absolutely correct. Unfortunately, they handed me an empty. <laughs> <laughs> but, but were you, can you actually play with it? I mean, was this was this just a visual effect or can you actually do that with a beer bottle? With a little, uh, with a little dexterity, one can bring it, bring it around. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Wasn't it well, Dwayne Allman who was the first who started doing that, or was just the first time I saw that? Not a beer bottle, but just glass. Oh yeah, Dwayne was famous for his uh, glass bottle. Uh, I guess the the reality of, uh, in fact, I, I did a bit of study on. Uh, how slide guitar came into prominence and uh, they claim that uh, it started out with a railroad spike being slid up and down the neck. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh my that. God. Yeah. <laughs> that would make, that would make for an uh, interesting. Wait. Think that of would being make... on the train that was missing the spike <laughs> on the tracks. <laughs> yeah. Well, it would make for an interesting exhibit at uh, assorted halls of fame. Here's the spike, the golden spike that started it all. Wow. Uh, you have uh, once again um, assembled uh, a group of your favorite collaborators and musicians to appear with you on this album. Definitely so. You know, the... Uh... The, the genesis, the origins of hardware, this new album started with a simple phone call. We, we've received a call from both Matt Sorum, our fearless um, man with the big bad backbeat, and of course, Austin Hanks. I call him Austin Left Hand Hanks because he plays upside down and backwards. But they scooped me up and uh, squired me out to a studio near Joshua Tree. And I said, oh yeah, I said, I'm, I've been, been there, uh, Rancho de la Luna. And I was quickly uh, corrected. They said, no, it's, it's across the street from Rancho de la, just across the road. What they didn't say, it was across the road and 20 miles. So <laughs> we, we were way, way out in the desert. And uh, I said, well, uh, inspecting a studio won't take 30 minutes. But when we tiptoed across the front door, those 30 minutes turned into three months. <laughs> so when you embarked on this project, was it embarking on a project with your friends and then you just created it all together? Or did you already have the genesis of the album in your mind before you assembled? I, I liked what you, uh, how you 
physician that created it all together, which we did. Uh, we simply walked in. We had nothing more than blank sheet of paper and a pencil. But uh, when you're surrounded with a lot of sand and a few rocks and some cactus, a couple of rattlesnakes thrown in, you're, you're in the middle of a bunch of nothing. And, and the only way out of nothing is to start doing something. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you have it. Billy, back to the, the video, my lucky card. I have to ask you because you're wearing the hat today. The last time you were in the studio, you were wearing the hat. You're wearing the same hat in the video. What's the story behind that hat? And I love that hat, never saw another one like it. Uh, believe it or not, I've managed to start uh, collecting. These are examples of fine works of uh, textile expertise woven by members of the uh, famous tribe from Cameroon in Africa, the Bamaliki, uh, who are known for their expertise in, in textiles. And uh, before you can wear the hat, you've got to learn how to make it. And before you're allowed to wear it, you have to be considered a, a prestigious member of the community. I got lucky in, uh, upon visiting uh, uh, Cameroon, I was uh, escorted over to see the Bamaliki and I was wearing a Texas cowboy hat. And when the chief came around, I got the elbow and they said, hey, that's the chief. Give him your hat. I said, no, wait a minute. I said, the chief, I'm from Texas. We, we, we do a little horse trading on these matters. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he got a, he got a nice uh, 10 gallon Texas hat. And I walked off with the famous Bamaliki hat. Love it. Love it. <laughs> so you, you spent the time putting, putting this album together and can we expect you to add some of this material to your upcoming live performances? Indeed, we will. Uh, we're, I, you know, we stand in line with everybody else. The, the good news seems to be the uh, curtain is, appears to be rising and we're getting back. Um, I know I'm ready to kick my heels up and make a lot of loud noise. So <laughs> come on, come on out. <laughs> Well, I know that you will be here in New York soon to uh, perform at the annual Love Rocks NYC Benefit Concert, which will be uh, June 3rd, just the uh, night before the release of your album at the Beacon Theater in New York. And our friends can uh, sign up for a free live stream of the event at loverocksnyc.com. And that's to support God's Love We Deliver. And you've been supportive of this event and this organization in the past. And I know everybody really appreciates the major star power that you bring to the evening. Oh yeah, it's a big uh, event. It'll be a uh, flashy star-studded evening. Uh, and of course, uh, the, uh, the function of this charitable outfit uh, meets the needs of so many. It's, uh, it's really a cool, cool uh, way to express your appreciation of uh, what we get to do regularly and what some folks count on uh, through this charitable organization. It's a good deal. And it also uh, speaks volumes of your generosity as an artist and as a person, because quite frankly, fundraising events like uh, Love Rocks NYC really rely upon the participation of major artists in order to bring in the donations and, uh, and, and the, uh, and, and other participants like commercial sponsors and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, I imagine that, uh, there are many, many, many requests for you to donate your time, uh, to many worthy causes. And I know that you do oh, just yeah. that, but I mean, that, that is, it's because you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do that. And you are known for doing that. And, and we just want you to know that we admire you for that, among many other things. Well, thank you so much for that. And uh, I know that uh, all the recipients that are uh, enriched by uh, the nature of the uh, organization, they, uh, it goes without saying, they send their thanks as well. It's pretty cool. 
Now, you recently received a major blues award. Oh, yes. <laughs> the blues, yeah. Now, when, when listening to your music, I was just interested, Billy. It's hard for me to tell exactly when the rock turns into the blues and when the blues morphs into the rock. I mean, in your particular case, these genres seem to intermingle in such an intimate way that it's almost impossible to, you know, untangle them. Uh, yes, well noted. Uh, it's, it's no real secret that uh, some of the backbone that uh, supports the kind of playing that I enjoy uh, came from a willingness to try and learn and become an interpreter of this great American art form. And the originators came up with something that uh, on the surface, I think the blues is rather simplistic. Uh, the beauty of it is just that. It is a, a, a straightforward expression with a very, very deep uh, um, amount of sophistication behind it. It's, it's uh, quite telling when uh, you listen to a record that's been uh, out and about for, uh, you know, six, seven decades, and uh, you go back to playing it again, and it still sounds fresh, you're still getting something new from it. It goes to, to uh, say quite a bit about the complexity that's in this uh, rather simplistic art form. Pretty cool stuff. It's Billy F. Gibbons with us here at Q104.3. The album Hardware will be released on June 4th. Uh, you can pre-order it right now, as a matter of fact, which would be a good idea. You can get details uh, about hardware at billygibbons.com. I've had discussions with Shelly about this before. Shelly will back me up on this because your name came up when we were having these discussions. You know, there are a lot of really good guitar players in the world. And there's, you know, and there are scores of great guitar players in the world, but there's only a handful of guitar players in the world where if you're blindfolded and you never heard a song before and you hear a few bars of that guitar player playing, you know, it's them. <laughs> and you're one and you're one of those guys. Right. Shelley, right. Didn't we talk right. about that? And why is that? How did you get the signature Billy F. Gibbons sound? Um one of the elements that, that went uh, went quite long was uh, the acquisition of uh, our famous, uh, well, I call it the cornerstone, one of the benchmarks of uh, the sounds that you constantly hear come from a 1959 Gibson Les Paul. It's, they, they call them a sunburst, a burst. There's something rather magical behind uh, the report that this guitar constantly provides. It's, it's really, really amazing. Uh, uh, I'd worked my dad being uh, quite the entertainer. Uh, one afternoon, we, uh, we actually were performing in London and he and my mom, my dad and mom were visiting France and they had heard about this performance. They came over to England. Uh, and uh, at the conclusion of that night, I said, well, I said, there you have it. I said, uh, I put my best foot forward and uh, let the sound uh, come around. He said, well, yeah, he said, uh, we've, we've, we've heard that sound for quite some time. You've, you've accomplished uh, something rather unusual. He said, by the way, he said, uh, the front yard lawn needs mowing. Get back over <laughs> and I said, okay, well, that's it. <laughs> well, dads are like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so hardware june 4th billygibbons.com and then the uh the night before the beacon theater love rocks nyc uh billy f gibbons along with uh, a star-studded uh group of uh world-class performers there's a free live stream you see because we we can't all gather together quite yet uh so they have provided a free live stream uh, and you can register for that at loverocksnyc.com. You'll be encouraged to donate $20 to God's Love We Deliver. But uh, if you don't have the 20 bucks, it's okay. You can, uh, you can experience the show along with everybody else. There is absolutely no requirement to uh, come up 
with uh, the cash. So, Billy, what else is going on with you? Anything you want? This this is the shameless plugging segment. And are you going to be wearing the hat that night? Uh I, oh yeah, I, tr- I I left the house without it the other day, and uh, <gasps> my buddies were saying, "Hey, you can't come in yet." I said, "Well, <laughs> we're just going up the street. Uh, should I walk?" And they said, "No, we'll give you a ride, but you got to go back and get on, put on the hat." <laughs> okay, but Billy, shameless plugging. Anything you want to talk about? Anything on your mind right now? Anything well, you, you know, want to express? We're uh, we're. We're call, We're speaking to you today. From we had been in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, we were lucky enough to get on a plane and come to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, we we uh, we wrapped up a rather interesting uh, a show just uh, on a few nights back, and uh, I was actually looking forward to uh, joining you guys because uh, you're in a spot that uh, holds great magic, and I'm delighted to say that. Uh, just uh, around the corner, I'll be uh, I'll be seeing you guys and uh, joining, as you point out, joining a great lineup of stars. So it'll be uh, be much to my delight to uh, tiptoe through the uh, city limits with you. All right. Well, I want to just to remind everybody, my lucky card is the uh, latest advance track, the third advance track from the album. You can watch the video. Uh, we just did. It's a, it's a, it's a funny video. It's a, it's a great song. And uh, it uh, leads us to believe that the album is going to be absolutely outstanding. The album is hardware. Uh, it is available for pre-sale right now. Uh, and you can go to billygibbons.com for all the details. And it of course features uh, his collaborators, Matt Sorum and Austin Hanks. And uh, I'm certain that you will, uh, enjoy it very, very much. It's hardware, billygibbons.com and Billy F. Gibbons. We look forward to seeing you in person one of these days. That you was know. my question. My last question. When is ZZ Top back on the road or are you going to do the solo thing first? We're just, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think uh, the, 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 the phrase that we keep repeating, we're standing in line with everybody else Uh, waiting for the curtain to rise. Uh, The good news, I feel it thawing out. I think that uh, sooner than later, we'll all be uh, back to kicking up our heels and uh, we get to make loud noise and having a good time. That's what it's all about. All right. Well, Billy F. Gibbons, thank you for taking the time to uh, join us early on this Monday morning here at Q104.3. New York's classic rock, Q104.3.